The keyboard with no name. No model number. Nothing. It looks pretty good. But I'm prepared not only to bet my reputation, but my life that this is garbage. When you switch it on, you immediately notice that the volume is conveniently set extremely loud. Ah! A master volume of one is perfectly sufficient. Zero is total silence. Two is kind of uncomfortably loud. And it goes up to 16. Keyboard percussion. And it starts again about there. You can also play percussion sounds from the front panel. Bordering on the potentially useful. This is actually the most interesting part of the keyboard. The effects are particularly alarming. Some sounds already have a bit of vibrato. And you can make them kind of creepy by giving it even more vibrato. And sustain. Sounds seem to be in a meaningless order. Not grouped in any particular way, often repeated and pretty much always stupid. There is a record function that does what it's meant to do. section this really provides us with a few highlights of terribleness there really only are about maybe 15 to 20 different rhythms and then they just repeat themselves over and over again the default rhythm is surprisingly catchy now let's hear the accompaniment for that hardcore synth lovers rhythm pattern number 82 which is electropop really worth listening to and you've got to check out number 40 disco party and don't forget number 23 big band mid one and of course we've got all the old favourites like number two, country. One key is a good feature. This turns you into a brilliant pianist. That is so good. Oh, I'm so 
sorry, did that sound a little bit sarcastic? Let's have a listen to a few more rhythms. On the back we've got power in, headphone socket, left and right out, and conveniently there's a USB socket. Unfortunately, it's not real. And for people on the road, no battery option. Well, GearFax friends, I bet my reputation and indeed my life on this keyboard being garbage. I figured that was a safe bet and I stand by it. Change my mind. Thanks for watching GearFax. Please like, comment or subscribe. I hope you found that slightly amusing. We'll see you on the next one.